Good morning. It's Tuesday, it's 11 a.m., and it's time for the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM, presenting live weekly performances in the WDNA Jazz Gallery, featuring students, faculty, and alumni from Florida International University School of Music. I am your host, Colin Miller, and along with our music producer, Karen fuller Vellos, we'd like to welcome you to the FIU Music Hour. Make sure you like our FIU Music Hour page to stay up to date with our upcoming radio programs. This morning, we are joined by Latin Grammy-winning flutist Nestor Torres together with the South Florida Chamber Ensemble, whose mission is to improve the lives of South Floridians through music. Not only do we have Nestor Torres on flute, but also Myrna Mirnoff on French horn, Marie Schwartz on flute, Jorge Luis Sosa on piano, Austin Conti playing the bass, and Ray Monroig on drums. Looking forward to your performance? Take it away. Thank you. 
started with the song, just, you know, Nestor Torres is well known for the land jazz thing, so we thought that we'd just kick it off with a bang, and also because uh, it was right here at the WDNA studios that we recorded our Latin Grammy-nominated CD, Jazz for Traditions. This song, Miami Beach Rumba, is included in that recording. We played it right here, so uh, we'd like to proceed now with a song uh, dedicated to Puerto Rico, um, and I'm so happy to be joined by the members of the South Florida Chamber Ensemble, uh, Marina Miroff and Marie Schwartz. Uh, this is my composition from the uh, Dance of the Phoenix recording of the album. This is Perla del Mar, or Pearl of the Sea. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we are playing actually music that uh, I rarely get to perform, uh, if ever, as well as some of the standards. Uh, so we are preparing for uh, concerts that we'll be doing this Saturday and Sunday. Um, I am joining the South Florida Chamber Ensemble for their eighth and last concert of their series, Changing Our World, and this concert is a concert uh, for Mother's Day, or Mother, uh, yeah, concert for Mother's Day. Mother's Day co concert for change. Yes, and so it is that um, we're featuring songs, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that with Alex later on, uh, from different places, uh, more about that. But at this time, uh, I think we could like to do something that um, uh, is very well known piece. And uh, we'll talk about the reasons why we included it later on in a moment, but we're gonna get right on it. And we're going to play for you. Uh, this wonderful arrangement of La Comparsita, and it goes like this. And of course, you always have, you know, you can see this is not necessarily jazz music, but there's definitely a jazz groove going on with a bit of an improvisational uh, and spontaneous component here. So, in fact, this is the first time we play it with the band. Okay, so you kick it off with that wonderful round. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay, so uh, Mirna, tell us about why we play that song. As I offer you the microphone here, as we make our way improvisationally, there you go. So the concert that's coming up this weekend is all about the places where we live and how humans are destroying those places through climate change. So in the concert, we're going to explore composers from places that were recently affected by natural disasters, including my hometown of Buenos Aires, which um, had an earthquake hit for the first time in over 250 years. Um, but really, the concert is about 
loving the place where you live and making sure that that place survives after you're gone. And we're going to talk more about that. <sighs> yeah. And so, yes. <laughs> uh, speaking now, we're going back to the mother's angle of component of it at this time. I like to do a composition, an original composition uh, that, uh, as I mentioned, I rarely ever get to, uh, if ever get to perform uh, live. Uh, this is something I wrote a number of years ago for the uh, Talk To Me uh, CD on the Sony label. This is called Young Mother. A 88.9 FM and WDNA and the FIU Music Hour. Thank you. This is the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM, and that was Nestor Torres and the South Florida Chamber Ensemble, who performed a couple of original compositions as well as some world-renowned pieces. Uh, Nestor, why don't you come on over, and we'll uh, chat for a couple minutes.
surely we can. All right. So uh, also, I would like to remind you all to follow us on the FIU Music and FIU Music Hour Facebook pages to stay tuned on upcoming radio performances and concerts this summer. So Nestor, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Uh, delighted to be here and uh, uh, be reconnected in some way, uh, however small, with uh, FIU, with the Florida International University. Thank you for having us. Oh, it's our pleasure. So uh, I have a couple of questions uh, for all of you, actually. Uh, so how did you and the South Florida Chamber Ensemble come together and start performing? Well, I have known uh, Marie uh, Schwartz for some time, and we have been exploring possibilities of working together uh, with her um, South Florida youth, uh, flute, flute orchestra. Her orchestra. And as we were exploring options, I get to, through Marie, I got to uh, know and uh, meet Myrna. And I found out about the work they have been doing as, as South Florida Chamber Ensemble. I really was impressed by their passion and their commitment to the community, uh, to their real zest to really, as you know, Myrna talked about change. And they invited me to join them in, in the concert in Fort Lauderdale, which is going to take this Saturday. And I, you know, of course, I, I accepted in joining them, and I figured, well, let's see if we can make it happen also in Miami, which we are able to this Saturday, uh, this Sunday evening at 6 at the uh, Cole Gables Congregational Church. And so that's how it came about. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, even though I'm, I'm, I'm taking the lead today, as it were, mm -hmm. um, it's really a collaborative uh, 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 venture. Um, um, and uh, I think that I'd like to, yeah, support them and bring their work uh, to the fore. So that actually brings me perfectly to my next question, mm -hmm. which uh, uh, Marie, Mirna, that's kind of open to you, you, both of you as well. Uh, a lot of these songs today are originals of yours, Nestor, yes. as well as other well-known compositions. Exactly. Uh, how did you go about choosing this program, I mean, for audiences in different areas and demographics? Something that is very important to us is making sure that the pieces that we perform are diverse. Mm -hmm. So we have female composers on the program. We have composers of color on the program. But as I said earlier, we were trying to choose composers who are connected to a place that is really affected by climate change right now. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have Mexican composers. A, a lot of Latin America, unfortunately, is mm -hmm. being affected. So we have composers from Brazil, from Argentina, from Puerto Rico, of course, and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to work with Nestor is not only because he's connected to you know the recent hurricanes there, but also because of the work that he does for world peace. So he connects to our mission very much, and that's why we're working with him on this concert as well as on a concert about the refugee crisis in November. Uh, so this is uh, a preview, Nestor, you kind of touched on this a bit too. Uh, for the Mother's Day concert for climate change, as you all were mentioning. And uh, can you just tell us a little bit more about these upcoming performances and uh, just... Surely. Um, well, tell, you can tell them about the, the Sunshine Cathedral. You have more information on that, and then I'll talk to them about Miami. Sure. So um, we are doing this concert thanks in part to a lot of support from local organizations funding Arts Broward, the PNC Bank Foundation, and the Broward Cultural Division. Um, and so um, it's going to include a lot of the music that we've performed today. There'll also be some singing on the concert. Mm -hmm. So if you're listening to us today and would like to hear that, right. please come out and hear that. Um, you're going to hear um, each one of us featured. The three of us will be featured in different perspectives, as well as the amazing ensemble that is back there. Um, and um, so that concert is this Saturday at 7 o'clock at the Sunshine Cathedral in Fort Lauderdale. And then we're going to do it again Sunday at 6 o'clock at the Cole Gables Congregational Church, which is across the street from, from the Billmore Hotel. Mm -hmm. And so um, uh, anything else, or should we play some more music? What do you think? <laughs> well, uh, basically, my last question is, uh, you, of course, were mm -hmm. actually the founder of the Cuban Denzel and Charanga Ensemble at FIU back in 2011. C correct. So you are continuously committed to youth and education mm -hmm. and just cultural exchanges in yes. general. Do you have any additional projects or events like underway uh, along with these concerts here? As a matter of fact, we're going to be, it was just confirmed that uh, the uh, next week, uh, Saturday, May 18th, we'll be having a master class at the Kahlo School of uh, Music and Arts up in Aventura. Oh, wow. Um, you know, we're going to have a lot of the uh, uh, young folks from the uh, Florida, uh, Florida Youth Orchestra. And so we, we continue uh, to do that. 
Um, and everywhere that I go, anytime that we have an opportunity to offer master classes and so on, um, I just take delight uh, in it. Um, but to this, to you know, going coming back to the concerts we're doing this weekend, you know, the what 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 I find challenging about this uh, uh, these themes, you know, is that when we talk about climate change, did you? I'm sure that most of you have heard that in the climate change, uh, there's something happening that you know there's about one million species, plant and animal species that are in the you know that are running the risk of extinction, mm -hmm. and climate change has a lot to do with that, mm -hmm. you know. And to be perfectly candid, you know, Myrna especially, she's very passionate. <laughs> so it's concert for climate change. <laughs> You know, and, and it's important to have that real strong thing, but what, it, you know, the power of a motherly love, the, the protective, compassionate, nurturing uh, love of a mother, mm. that is the most healing of all energies. And in that, you know, when we think of mothers, we think of loving and they're gentle and they're protective, but do, you know, there is a fierceness about you know a mother when uh, at a crucial moment she must protect her cubs, her children, and so these concerts uh, are going to be very inspiring. Going to be a lot of fun. Trust me, it's not going to be no militant speeches or anything <laughs> like that. But rather, a certain so, so sense of that sense of, uh, compassionate militants, or you know that call for appreciation mm -hmm. of, of compassion of, of what mothers have given us. Understanding that some mothers are much greater than others, but that mother energy mm -hmm. is really what carries us all. And that's the underlying uh, spirit, energy, dynamic, and intention of these concerts on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday at the Sunshine Cathedral at seven o'clock in Fort Lauderdale, and Sunday, uh, uh, Sunday uh, Sunday night at 6 o'clock at uh, the Call Gables Congregational Church. Well, they sound like they're going to be just simply beautiful events and for wonderful causes. So uh, right now we're actually going to be taking a little break, and when we come back we're going to be hearing some more wonderful music from you guys. So uh, you're listening to the FIU Music Hour here with Nestor Torres uh, and the South Florida uh, Chamber Ensemble, and we'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away. Thank you. Okay, we are back with the FIU Music Hour here on WDNA 88.9 FM. And we have Nestor Torres and the South Florida Chamber Ensemble here performing with us. So, uh, Nestor, what are we going to be hearing next? Uh, a selection of songs. Um, right now, um, there is a, a, a wonderful story about this composer, um, Shikinia. Gonzaga, Marina, can you talk up a little bit about this while I get ready? Sure. Chiquinha Gonzaga was a mestizo, and she was an illegitimate child, and uh, she revolutionized the, the the field for female composers. She was the first conductor, female conductor in Brazil, and she flouted convention at every side. Her her birth father. Um, basically married her off at age 16 to a man who beat her, and she left him, taking only her eldest son, and was never able to marry again because she wasn't able to divorce. But she was able to have a career that most women could not have in the 19th century, and wrote some amazing music, including the two pieces in the medley that we're going to play today, Atrajente and Ocortajaca. Or I think Atrajente and Ocortajaca in Portuñol. Here we go. Thank you. 
Muito obrigado. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right now we're going to Mexico. As you know, Mexico experienced a pretty tragic situation uh, not too long ago with the earthquakes. And so uh, we are actually going to do a very, very well-known song by a Mexican composer by the name of Consuelo Velázquez. I believe actually that this song needs no introduction. It goes like this.
Thank you very much. I um, would like to conclude with a little bit of a different version of a very well-known song, which uh, uh, I always like to finish my composition, uh, my shows or my con concerts with. And we're going to be doing something different, and in a truly jazz tradition, my colleagues, which by the way are Raymond Roy in the drums, Agustin Conti, Agustin Conti on the bass, and Jorge Luis Sosa on the piano. Um, I usually do a duet with Maestro Sosa, but this time I'm going to uh, be joined with uh, Miss Marie Schwartz on this beautiful melody, which actually is going to be in C major. And as we approach the uh, conclusion in C major, Maestro Sosa will very skillfully take us to F major, and we go straight into the other section. And with that, uh, we play for you the song we're going to play, which, by the way, in case that you did not know the title of the song we just played for you, is a very well-known famous, Besame Mucho. This one also need no, needs no introduction, but uh, somewhere over the rainbow.
You've been listening to the FIU Music Hour here on WDNA 88.9 FM with Nestor Torres and the South Florida Chamber Ensemble. And may I add, that was a beautiful, beautiful rendition of Over the Rainbow. Talk about making an old song new. That was great. Uh, to hear more about our events, please visit us at music.fiu.edu or call 305-348-0496 for more information on all of our concerts. Do not forget to like us on Facebook, FIU Music. Next week on the FIU Music Hour, you'll hear the multi-genre piano and cello duo, Strings Attached. I am your host, Colin Miller, and along with our producer, Karen Fuller-Vellos, we'd like to thank our production crew, Andrea Leon, Mavi Mastrovito, Maria fernandez Sobera, Eric Anderson, and Alex Audrich. Next week, come and listen to us live at the WDNA Jazz Gallery for some more great music on the FIU Music Hour. Mr. Torres and the South Florida Chamber Ensemble, the airwaves are all yours.